Four nights will quickly dream away the time, and then the moon, like to a silver bow, new into heaven, shall behold a night of our solemnities. Go, Philostrate, stir up the Athenian youth, awake the pert and nimble spirit of mirth. Sir, turn melancholy forth to funerals. The pale companion is not for our part. <laughs>
comfort. He shall no longer see my face. My Lysander and myself will fly this place. Helen, to you we will our minds unfold. Tomorrow night, when Phoebe doth behold, her silver visage and watery glass, decking with liquid pearl the bladed grass, at time when, when lover's slights doth still conceal, through Athens' gates have we devised to steal. And in the woods where often <coughs> you and I, upon faith her rose beds were wont to lie, emptying our bosoms of their castle sweet, there my Lysander and myself shall meet. And thence from Athens turn away our eyes to seek new friends and stranger companies. Farewell, sweet play and pray thou for us. And good luck grant thee thy Demetrius. <coughs> Tomorrow night, and meet me in the palace wood 
I'm not without the town by moonlight. <clears throat> we will meet, and there we rehearse most obscenely and courageously. Take pains. Be perfect. Adieu. Slave me. 
You told me they had stolen unto this wood, and here I am, and wood within this wood, for I cannot meet my Hermia. Hence, get thee gone, and follow me no more. You draw me, you hard hearted man, but that you draw my iron, for my heart is as true as steel. Leave your power to draw, and I shall have no power to follow you. Do I entice you? Do I speak you fair? Or do I not, in plainest truth, tell you that I do not, nor I cannot, love you? <laughs> Even for that, do I love you the more? Tend not too much the hatred of my spirit, for I am sick when I do look upon thee. I am sick when I look not on you. I'll run from thee, and hide in the bricks, and leave thee to the mercy of wild beasts. So wild is have not such a heart as you. I will not stay thy questions. Let me go. Or if thou follow me, do not believe, but I shall do thee mischief in the woods. I'll follow thee and make a heaven of hell to die upon the hand I love so well. Fare thee well, nymph. Ere thee do leave his grove, thou shalt find him, and shall seek thy love. Art thou the flower? Welcome. Aye, there it is. There sleeps the time, sometime of the night. Lord, in these flowers with dances and delight. And with the juice of this, I'll streak her eyes and make her full of hateful fantasies. <laughs> Take thou some of it and seek through this grove. A sweet Athenian lady is in love with the disdainful youth. Anoint his eyes, but do it when the next thing he spies may be the lady. Thou shalt know the man by the Athenian garment he hath on, affected with some care to be more fond on her than she upon her love. And look, thou be here at first cock crow. Fear not, my lord. Your servant shall do so. <laughs> Maid. 
<laughs> Churl upon thy eyes I throw all the power of this charm doth thou. <laughs> Bottom. 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 Oh. Here is a marvelous and convenient place for our rehearsal. Uh, Peter Quince. What say thou, Holy Bottom? There are things in this comedy of Pyrrhus and Thisbe that will never please. First, Pyrrhus must draw a sword and uh, kill himself, which the ladies cannot abide. I'll answer you that. I believe we must leave the killing out when all is done. Not a wit! I have a device to make all well. Write me a prologue and let the prologue seem to say that we will do no harm with our swords and that Pyramus is not killed indeed. And for more better assurance, tell them that I, Pyramus, am not Pyramus, but Bottom, no evil. This will put them out of fear. Well, we shall have such a prologue and it shall be written in ancient six. No, maybe it's too poor. Let it get an eight and eight. <laughs> Same defect, ladies, or, oh, ladies, I would wish 
Or, I would request you not to fear, not to tremble, my life for yours. If you think I can bid as a lion or a great spit on my life, for I am no such thing. I am a man as other are. If that may be, then all is well. Come, sit down on your mother's son and rehearse your parts. Pyrrhus, you begin. When you have done your speech, enter to that break, and so everyone for you too. <laughs> Why have been old spuns have we swaggering here? So near the cradle of Mary Queen. What? A play to what? I'll be an auditor, an actor too. <laughs> Perhaps, if I see cards. Pyrrha, speak. This means stand forth. <laughs> this being the flowers of odious savor sweets. Odors, odors. Odors, savor sweets. So hath thy breath, my dearest is me dear. But hark! A voice! Stay thou but there a while, and by and by I will appear to thee! Stranger fear miss than ever played here.
firm's blank, intended for great Theseus's nuptial day. When the shallow beer is forsook is seen, and enter in a break, an ass is no eye <laughs> fixed on its head. When, at that moment, so gave it fast, and died away, and straightway loved an ass. <laughs> <laughs> this falls off better than I could devise. But hast thou yet liked the Athenian's eyes with the love juice that I did bid thee do? I took him sleeping. That's finished too. Stand close. This is the same thing. This is the woman, but not this man. Oh, why rebuke you him that loves you so? Lay bread so bitter on thy bitter foot. <laughs>
sweet. Do not scorn her so. Oh, Helen, I, I love thee, but by my life I do. I swear by that which I will lose for thee. The proof of false that says I love thee not. I say I love thee more than he can do. If thou say so, it's wrong. I'll prove it to you. Ah! Uh, quick, come. Let's see. Where to tends all of this? Hang off, thou cat, thou burr, vile thing. Let loose or I will shake thee if you let me Lysander, why have you grown so young? What, 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 what change is this, sweet love? <laughs> that love? Out of toy and tartar, a load of medicine, head and potion heads. Do you not jest? Yes, sooner than so do you. Oh, be certain, tis no jest that I do hate thee and love hell not. <laughs> Follows 
fast, but faster than he fly. Just <laughs> fall into my in dark, uneven way. He will rest me. Come, come, gentle day. Come hither. I am here. Nathan, thou mockest me. Uh, by this dear, if ever I thy, thy face by daylight see. Now go thy way. Faintness constraineth me to measure my length out upon this cold bed. By day's approach, look to be visited. Oh, <laughs> 
which makes it tedious. For in all the play, there is not one word apt, one player fitted, and tragical it is, my lord. For Pyramus therein doth kill himself, which, when I saw rehearsed, I must confess, made my eyes water. But more merry tears, the passion of loud laughter, never shed. What are they that do play? <clears throat> Hard handed men of Athens, which have never labored in their minds till now. Hmm. I will hear that play, for never anything can be amiss when simpleness and duty never. So please your grace, the prologue is addressed. Let him approach! Yeah. <laughs> 
Wiles Rage Network. The no that I this is not the joint I am. Neurons no eyes damn. Uh, 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 should if I come into this place to to pity your mouth. All I have to say is to tell you that this lantern is the moon. I the man in the moon. This dog my dog and this thorn bush. <laughs> this thorn bush. My <laughs> This is all Minnie's tomb. Where is my heart? <laughs> <laughs>
of midnight hath told twelve lovers to bed. Tis of us very time, I fear we shall sleep the coming morn, which we so diligently have overwatched. A fortnight hold we this solemnity, in revelry and new jollity. And new jollity. <laughs> now, let us go. Come, Hippolyta.